Hey guys, Jeff the Nature Guy, and oh man, look at that thing. I, I, I'm speechless, it's so cool. Praying Mantis, and we've gotten a lot of calls actually uh, at the zoo about these recently. In fact, this one uh, was brought to us by the folks that you're watching the Billings Gazette, they actually have found it by their, uh, by their offices. Now it's called a praying mantis and they are pretty common um, throughout the U.S. and just recently common here in Billings. And I say recent because they weren't really here much in the past, but just in the last couple of years have really started to come up north and into the Billings area. And a lot of that has to do probably with some of the warming temperatures and some of the warmer winters that we have. These guys are, are finding their way a little bit farther north, which is pretty cool. But a couple of Cool things about this animal as, as she's walking up here, they get the name praying mantis because of these giant front f hands or paws or whatever you want to call them. And these 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 arms, they, they're kind of up in this little motion where it looks like they're praying. And that's of course where they get the name. Now the other cool thing about them is that head. They've got that triangular head with these just incredible eyes and they actually see quite well, especially for an insect. And what's cool is they are the only insect in the world that can actually turn their head all the way around and look on the other side, it's 180 degrees. So they can look forward and turn around and look all the way backwards. Only bug that can do that. You can see that head swiveling there. And that of course helps them well, look for prey and of course watch for predators. Now, like I said, despite the fact that it's an insect, they do see very well. And some reports believe they can see upwards of 60 feet away, which is just amazing, especially for an insect. Now this thing is carnivorous, which means it's going to eat a lot of bugs. So things like, uh, you know, grasshoppers, flies, bees. And if it's lucky enough to get something like a small frog or something, believe it or not, it can even eat that. Now as gross as it sounds, they are also known to eat each other. Yeah, and sometimes the ladies, they like to eat the boys. I know that's kind of gross, but it happens in the praying mantis world. So some you gotta watch out for. Now one big question that I got a lot in this especially this year is why are some of them brown like this one here and some are green like the ones that you may see in pictures or even even in your backyard. Well the biggest reason is is because well it's genetic which means there really is no rhyme or reason for it. Green moms can have brown babies and vice versa but obviously as when you think about it a big portion of it has to do with their habitat. Obviously a brown one like this would do very well in Billings because it's kind of a high desert. So there's, think of the rims, the rocks, the brown color, they match very well. Whereas a praying mantis found in more of a lush tropical forest area, they're gonna be green to blend in more with their environment. But that doesn't mean you can't find green praying mantis here in Billings. So guys, what's so cool about these mantis is the way they catch their food. They wait for the food to come to them. So basically they stalk and they wait for and then they pounce. In fact, watch how this mantis jumps on this cockroach so fast, it's like lightning, and then she'll, of course, consume it from the inside out. Kind of gross, but nonetheless, pretty cool to see. Now, remember, these little mantis, they don't live very long, only about spring to fall, so this young lady is at the end of her rope, unfortunately, but nonetheless, still a very beautiful animal to see here in Billings. Guys, until next time, I am Jeff the Nature Guy, and we'll see you at the zoo.